Hi everybody, Pixies here, and it's now time for the new oof, Guitar Wolf album, Love and Jet. Guitar Wolf is a Japanese uh, punk band who formed back in Nagasaki back in 1987. It's pretty much over the last 32 years of the band's career. It's pretty much been called the best a Japanese rock band ever. And that's kind of saying a lot when you're comparing to a lot of other Japanese rock bands. But they've kind of been here for a long time too, so... Uh, despite that though, they've pretty much only released 8 albums, which is kind of surprising when you think about it more and more. 8 albums in 32 years? It should be like... Like... 15 albums. But no, that's also partially due to... A 17 year long hiatus ever since their last album, which was released all the way back to 2002. But now they're back with a new album by them, released back in May. This is a 10 songs, not so long. So here we go. So the first thing I want to talk about is the influence on this album and the band in general. Uh, what you should know is that Guitar Wolf has their own kind of subgenre that they pretty much created called Jet Rock. And it's probably mostly that fast of punk. It's probably the fastest thing that I've heard of. And while this album doesn't exactly have nearly as much guitar work as their last few albums like UFO Romantics or even their late 90s albums like Wolf uh, Run Wolf Run, uh, they... They they kind of they, <laughs> I mean they kind of do, I mean some songs like uh, Mayuma, Mayumi, The Untouchable, Give Me Some Loving, uh, The Battle of Bantira, um, <laughs> Battle of Tagata No Baba, I think that's what the that last one is called, are pretty much the ones that kind of use it the most, and they kind of add a few humorous things in it too, songs like Sci-Fi Brats or Sex Jaguar, that kind of has this kind of sly humor in it. Just a little bit, though. It's not, like, overdoing it that much. In fact, a lot of the stuff in this album doesn't really use nearly as much as, like, their last few albums. But it still can go crazy as it goes. Uh, Red Fireball Legend is also one banger of a song that just goes kind of batch insane. And as well as Battle of Takata, No Baba, is also crazy as hell. But not all songs are like this. Songs like Girl Boss in Paris kind of takes it a bit slow. Not nearly as slow, but it's standard fast, to say it lightly. Uh, the song <laughs> Asha Lopez, a, a Kiss Spark, that's a long title. Um, it's also a banger, and one of the best songs on the entire album, in my opinion. Personally, I like Sex Jaguar, and I think that's just an absolute banger, and I think that's also a bit funny, if I have to be honest. <laughs> Goddamn. The beginning track on here, Love and Jet, has pretty much also has its fair share of guitar work as well, and I like, <laughs> and I think it's the best guitar work, in my opinion, as well as a standout track from the rest. Which, I, which you may know me as that. I love a lot about that. Um, and they've pretty much had their kind of influences on here too. The lyrics and the way they say it kind of reminds me of Ramon, Ramon's record. The guitar works especially is it kind of sounds like loud and distorted. Pretty much kind of bringing up the jet rock subgenre again. Kind of influences people from people like Link Ray. And the production on here, especially with their older albums as well, kind of has like a black flag or minor threat kind of feel. So if you love old punk, if you love this kind of punk, if you want to get into a new subgenre of punk, or you just want to begin something with Japanese rock, I think this is a perfect album for you. It delivers so much, I hardly even had any problems with it at all. It's fantastic, it's fast, it's amazing, it's just... So good, loud, and just <laughs> crazy as hell. If I was going this one, I'm going with uh, a 9 out of 10. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy this album that I recommend to you. 
It's not on YouTube, unfortunately, but it's on Spotify. If you have that app, check it out. So, <laughs> bye.